Hello and welcome to Friday's Market Summary with me, Andrew Nellis. The FTSE has closed the week sharply lower as investors have reduced their exposure to high-risk assets ahead of the weekend. The sell-off occurred due to the escalation of investor concerns over the ongoing budget and debt ceiling talks in Washington as US politicians try to prevent a partial shutdown of the government on the 1st of October. There was some positive news from the US, however, as official figures showed that consumer spending increased by 0.4% in August, which was ahead of the 0.3% average estimate. In the UK, there has been a mixture of economic news today, but most notably from Bank of England Governor Mark Carney, who stated that he does not feel that the Bank of England needs to extend its asset purchase programme, given the continuing flow of positive economic reports regarding the UK economy. In market news, house buildings came under pressure today from the statement from Mark Carney and also from Chancellor George Osborne, who wants to give additional powers to the Bank of England to enable them to have better control over the housing market and to prevent another property boom. In the sector, heavyweight persimmon, along with Countrywide, Barrett Developments and Bovis Homes, all recorded losses of over 3% on the day, making them the worst performing sector. As you would expect, with investors reducing their risk exposure, miners were once again under heavy selling pressure today, despite a general rise in commodity prices, with sector heavyweights, Antipagasta, Rio Tinto and Anglo-American being the worst performers in the sector, losing over 2.5%. Moving to the upside today, we have seen a positive performance from Babcock International after the company announced a positive earnings statement, and from Premier Farnell after the company benefited from being upgraded to the buy list at investment bank Goldman Sachs. For the full market summary, please have a look at the website and read your leisure and have a fantastic weekend.